Hi, I'm Mrs. Watson, and this video is all about controlled experiments. Well, what is a controlled experiment anyways? A controlled experiment is a science experiment where there is only one variable being changed or tested at a time. All other variables stay the same or constant. These are performed to help scientists get as accurate results as possible. Now that seems complicated. Let's take a closer look to try to better understand exactly what that means. First, we need to identify a problem to test and hopefully find the answer to. I recently started gardening and was able to grow a pea plant. The problem is that one pea plant does not give me enough peas to make an entire meal. So I want to know how quickly I can grow more pea plants. Now after some research, I decided to test out which type of light source will grow the pea plants the fastest. Scientists call the thing I am changing and testing the independent variable. My independent variable will be the light source. There will be a plant growing in red light and another pea plant growing in blue light to see which color light allows the pea plants to grow the tallest. To start my experiment, I'm going to gather identical supplies. I will need to make sure I have the identical sized pots with the same amount and type of soil in them. I will also need to place the same number of peas, which are the seeds, in each pot at the same depth and distance apart. Scientists call these identical variables the experimental constants or controlled variables. You may wonder why there is a third pot. Well, good science experiments have a control group to test. Experimental controls run under normal conditions so that you can have data to compare the experimental test groups to. In this experiment, we will have a control group growing in natural sunlight conditions for comparison. Now that the controlled experiment is all set up, I can go ahead and start collecting data. Over the next three weeks, I will be watering the plants the same amount of water at the same time of day. Each day, I will record their growth using centimeters. Scientists call the variable that responds to the independent variable, or the data being collected, the dependent variable. We use metric measurements in science. Stop! There is a major problem with my experiment. What will happen if one plant has an issue like a bad seed and does not grow because of that? There must be something I can do. Scientists prepare for situations like this by using repetition in their experiments. They always have multiple trials of their experiment to identify sources of abnormal data or outliers. So if this plant doesn't grow, there's still three others to get data from. After three weeks are up, it's time to look at the data. Scientists will often calculate the average data for each group to better understand their results. For the pea plant growing in natural sunlight, it had an average of 8 centimeters growth over three weeks. The plant growing in red light had 6 centimeters of growth and the plant growing in blue light had an average of 5 centimeters of growth. Yay! Now I can share that pea plants grow more successfully in natural sunlight. If another scientist ever wanted to confirm my results, they would copy my experimental procedures and repeat the experiment on their own. This is called replication. Replication is important in science to make sure published results are accurate and science can keep advancing based on well-tested and confirmed data. Before we go, let's review. A controlled experiment is an experiment with only one thing being tested or changed. Independent variables are what is being changed or tested in the experiment. A dependent variable is what is being measured in metric units. Controlled variables are everything that is kept the same in the experiment. Controlled groups are the groups that are being tested in normal conditions for comparison. Repetition is repeating or completing multiple trials in your experiment. Replication is another scientist repeating and confirming the results of your experiment. Thank you for watching! If you enjoyed this, check out my doodle notes on the nature of science that complement this video and inspire the whole thing. The link is below. To see even more content, visit my blog at www.mrswatsoneducation.com. Thank you!